What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Check it out, we're going dark mode. Uh, for breakfast I had leftover chili. For lunch I had quinoa salad, and for dinner I had leftover chili and some cornbread and some cheese. I bet, you know, you get a bag of che shredded cheese and you sprinkle the cheese on the chili and it's good. Uh, my lips are a little chapped. You can see like a big red line where my lips are cracking. That sucks. I haven't been putting on, I think it's evil. I think it's sort of bad to put on chapstick. Um, if you put on chapstick too much, it, your lips get used to it and then they stop producing their own moisture. And I've noticed if you, if you just like wait it out for a few days, then your lips are fine for like a month, for me at least. I don't know, I don't I don't need chapstick and so I feel like it's a little bit of a side op and I'm fine with having dry lips. Um, but you know, um, today at work uh, was a little stressful. Um, there are gonna be people on Thursday coming in to look at the model and so um, we have to work hard um, to get it good. Uh, my boss is pretty much the one working hard. I'm just cleaning and making sure it'll look good on Thursday, but um, you know, uh, it's not bad. Uh, near the end of the day, I learned how to use a, uh, a, 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 like, uh, planer, an uh, electric planer. I learned how to use an electric hand planer and uh, they're spooky. Um, it's kind of fine, it's just, um, you know, you know, power tools, one wrong move, right? And, and like, don't be stupid, right? But one wrong move and you, you'll lose your hand, right? But, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm generally kind of spooked by power tools, but I learned how to use a planer and uh, it's interesting, it's cool. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, today also an electrician came in to like install um, a UPS because our server keeps going out. Uh, he came to install a UPS and this UPS is massive. It's it stacked up all the batteries. It's probably as tall as me and I'm six feet tall. Um, so it's a really, really, really big UPS. So big to where it has to be right next to the breaker, right? And um, and I'm not sure if it's a UPS. I know it's a lot of batteries to make sure that the server doesn't go down. I'm not sure if it's technically a UPS, but um, the IT guy called in this thing and it has to be installed near the breaker and the breaker is in the lab where we are. And that's a little bothersome because we're very busy and you know, they might have to like move the air compressor and you know, we use the air compressor all the time and we can't just afford to like, not to like, we, we can't just afford to like move the air compressor right now. like. I, you know, I don't like, I don't know how to move the air compressor and my boss is like busy all day, you know, so there's no time, you know, um, but you know, what can you do? Probably won't happen again. Oh well. Uh, yeah, and then I got home. I think I, I am, uh, sort of investing is sort of a, a bad thing to do right now. Uh, not only because the market might crash, right? Uh, soon, but also time in the market beats timing the market, right? But, um, also because, um, um, I'm 18 years old and I need an emergency fund because what if I'm out and about and I, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, is there something about you? I'm pretty sure a lot of Americans can't afford like a $400 emergency, right? And, uh, you know, you look at all these financial people online and they're like, oh yeah, you should have six months of expenses. Uh, in savings. And of course, six months of expenses right now, living at my parents' house, basically getting everything for free is like very tiny. But you know, when I live on my own in Seattle, you know, maybe it'll have to be pretty big. So instead of investing my money right now, I don't want to sell my investments because then I'd have to put out on my taxes, income, and it's a whole thing. Um, I'm fine with keeping my investments right now. But um, all the new money I'm getting for the past month or two uh, has been going into like an emergency fund. And that's pretty much where all of my money is going to go until I hit the amount where I'm comfortable, you know. Um, it's really windy outside. Um, until I hit the amount where I'm comfortable. Um, so I'm looking for the best place to park the money. Um, you know, it's 
and I, I need it to be very liquid. I need to be able to move it to my bank account very, like my checking account very easily. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, I'm looking around. SPACs on Fidelity looks pretty good, but there are also a lot of super high yield savings accounts on like Ally Bank. But Ally Bank is a little spooky, you know, because they don't have any physical locations. Sure, they're FDIC insured, but like, I don't want to deal. Like, what if Ally Bank shuts down and then I have to like deal with that? Like, I, I can't imagine they're just going to send me the money. They're, I can't imagine they're just going to put the money in my checking account, right? It's like, I'd have to deal with things, and I don't want to have to deal with that. So I don't, I'm looking for the best place, high interest, to put my money. But we'll see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, alright. I hope everybody has a good day. And, uh, yeah, see you, dude.